Listen, we had our uh, Up and Adams holiday party. Brandon Marshall was invited. He didn't want to come. That's fine. We'll get to that in a minute. But we all went as a team uh, of producers. And uh, I thought, and I was looking at one of our producers, Owen Reynoldson. And every time he had another drink, I was like, he can't possibly be more entertaining than he is right now. And then he'd have another drink and it would get better and the show would improve. And so I really liken that to what this NFL season has been because even just that 12 finished, you know, unbelievable what's going on with these games this weekend. But last weekend I said it was the best week ever. And the week before that I said it was the best week ever. So this NFL season, ipso facto, what so have you, is the Owen Reynoldson of um, the, the NFL. Does it kind of make sense? I don't know. I think it does. Listen, uh, we also got some answers. And I love getting answers. That playoff picture when things are loopy and gray and like you got to use your number two pencil with the eraser on the back. I don't like it. I like Sharpie vibes. And here's what we got. Six of the 14 playoff teams got decided. The Eagles, the Bills, the Cowboys, they punched their ticket to the offs to the postseason and then the Vikings the Niners and the Chiefs they lock up their division titles and like did Mahomes is the MVP I'm sorry Marissa Marissa if you had to cast your vote you would still vote for I mean I love Jalen I don't think you can I don't think you can I think it's Patrick Mahomes game and everybody's just playing in it all right we want to start with um a rematch of what was a nightmarish tie between the Giants and the Commanders and this time the Giants defense finished the game there was a goal line stand involved and New York beats them 20 to 12 and let's take a look at what the shakes up in the playoff picture the Giants move up a full game on Washington they hold the head-to-head -head tiebreaker there then they're also a game and a half up on Detroit and Seattle. The Commanders, they're clinging to that final wild card spot, but the Lions and the Seahawks, oh, they're right there breathing down their necks just a half game back. Like Hamilton's breathing down my neck to execute this show perfectly because he stayed up all night working on it. But when it comes to this game, this was the, and I think I've said this before too, biggest win, biggest game of Daniel Jones' career as a Giant. And the numbers, they might not jump off the page like you might think when I'm saying that sort of thing, but he made some really big throws in key situations to move the ball. Uh, on this number four, by the way, ranked Washington, Ron Rivera-led defense. And look at this fourth down play. Here we go, Daniel Jones, he's not tripping, that's his biggest highlight. Big game, big win, and look at that. Richie James, he keeps the drive alive. He leads to the touchdown that put the Giants up 14-3. to three. That's brilliant football right there. That's what you want to see. And the defense was phenomenal, by the way. Kayvon Thibodeau, we talked about him all offseason, all draft process. He goes to the Giants, and we finally see this incredible breakout game. 12 tackles. He had the strip sack that he recovered himself for a touchdown. I can't imagine that's easy to do. But this was all about Daniel Jones, and this was that moment. He gets the Giants one step closer to the playoffs in a season where no one gave them a prayer. A lot of, oh, Dable's going to improve the team. Nobody gave them a prayer for the playoffs or any success or that Daniel Jones could potentially be the guy for this franchise and all of his receivers are banged up they're all injured and so I do think Daniel Jones deserves to get a little bit of credit maybe we'll talk about that uh, a little bit later this week but to break down this game and everything that was crazy and fun and entertaining that happened yesterday and controversial we bring in all pro receiver the I am athlete architect and Brock Purdy's number one fan Brandon Marshall good morning good morning what's up uh, first, before we get started, you know, I always got to do this to you. Got to throw a loop in there. Um, I, I didn't come to the holiday party because you keep calling me a guest on the show. Oh. So you you want you want to be a, a family member, co-host? What would you like? Guest host. Guest host. I'm I'm into that. I was I thought you were gonna say we didn't invite you, in which case your friend Richard Isakow failed miserably because <laughs> we would have loved to have you at the holiday party 